Hello, everybody, and welcome to enter. Uh, not entertainment television. Hello, everybody, and welcome to WASD Gamecom. My name is Will Goodnight, and you're watching my childhood. This little evil dude right here was part of my childhood. This game's called Ape Escape. Um, I haven't played this in years. Like, I'm talking like seven or eight. Um, this is actually one of the first games my dad ever bought me for the PS1. And I was originally going to try and record Spyro 2, uh, Ripto's Rage, but it's just not working for me right now. And that's really unfortunate. But I was looking for some other games to play, and this one really caught my eye. So, what is the point of Ape Escape? Well, there's monkeys. They've escaped. There's some more to it than that. But, there's, um... Monkeys, they've escaped, and now you gotta catch them. Oh, man. But, yeah. This is a game I haven't played in a long time. So, let's go ahead and do this. I don't even remember <laughs> what this game is about, man. Those graphics, though. I mean, you just can't get any better than old PS1 game. I mean... If you want to be technical, you can, but you know what I mean. Hey, Spike, did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we going to get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Hey, <laughs> this game looks so gross. Oh, and I know there were a bunch of sequels, but I never got to play those. Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station. <laughs> no, no, run you two. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me in short spurts. This game's wonderful. <laughs> Alright, so you got monkeys taking over a time the TARDIS. They're taking over the TARDIS. And you have an evil monkey that's all dressed in white. You got this blue haired Magoo and S Spike. The most clever of names. It works. You have Misty over here works. with Dr. Wily. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Oh, no. What have I opened? What have I brought back? Gotta move the mic a bit. What have I brought back into Spike, my life? Can you, hear me? you must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The stun club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with a time net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your oh, hands. Oh, monkey jokes. We're depending on you. Monkey be jokes. Careful. In a game where you go around and catch monkeys. This is going to be great. What are you? Oh, it's all coming back to me. Oh, this game's so gross looking. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember, because this is one of like the first games that used the analog stick. So there's my net, there's my stun baton. How do I jump? Alright, so that's how I crawl. Till okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, R1, R1 to jump. Okay, that's weird. Um, can I look at the screen? What did I click? Okay. 
Uh, the R2 button works as well. I can climb trees and such. <laughs> what have I gotten into? <laughs> okay, so I can look around. Um, so there's a thing up there. And like I said, when I was a lot younger, I didn't... I mean, I didn't say this, obviously, but when I was, like, a lot younger, I never really explored the game, so I didn't even know there was, like, this giant, um, Sonic ring up here. So, obviously, the whole point is to catch the apes. That guy saw me. His, uh, like, their hats... So I can, like, sneak up on this guy. See his hat. Oh, he saw me. Come here. I caught him. Oh, man. I, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know if I'm going to play this, like, 100% through or if it's just going to be one of many series. Which is poss- Oh, come here. I know I'm- s Oh, no. I know I'm supposed to, like- Gotcha. Cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to like, um, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be like a whole series for me, like I did with Spyro last year. And I was going to do Spyro 2 this year, but it's just not something I was able to do because it just keeps freezing all the time. It freezes after the first episode, or the first level. It's really annoying. It's just all coming back to me. It's all coming back, and I don't know. I don't know. Like, what is this? Own to the time station. This room is the warp room. In front of you is a round switch to take you to the next stage select area. I'm going to use a switch to load save data. Make sure to read the mailboxes to learn from them. What are you? I don't. I don't remember anything. <laughs> so, this is how I save. Alright. <laughs> I might I might actually send this to my dad like he he actually might uh, get a kick out of this uh, save okay he might get a kick out of this this is one of the first things that uh, like he bought me and I remember we used to play it a lot when uh, I was a little kid we used to play a lot of games when I was a little kid but uh, a lot of we also played like X-Men Children of the Atom which I think I still have, but I'm not positive. Let's take a look at what's around here. <laughs> this game. What's this? Let's go read the thing. This is the training space. You can learn how to use the gadgets. Practice here if you forget how to use a gadget. Well, I only have two gadgets right now, so that's not too big of a deal. <laughs> I know there were more Ape Escape games, but I... No, I don't want to go there. I want to see what's over here. You don't tell me what to do, game. Well, you, you technically do. So this is what the coins are for. I think when I was younger, I never actually collected these. The Spectre coins. Cool. All right, let's go to the next level. Let's try and at least get one more in. I don't. I don't like I said. I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing this for the month. Um. I don't even think this is going to be going up July 1st because I'm recording this like the day before. Cleared all the way. Alright, sweet. Let's go to Primordial Ears. <sighs> Man. Look what I've got. A new gadget. Check it out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Oh, man. I remember all this dialogue now when I was younger, and I would just make fun of it all the time. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, the water net appears when you are in the water. Swim around using the left stick. Exit the water, yada, 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 speed up. Mario 64. Got it. Okay, maybe it's not as intuitive as Mario 64. The sign on the left shows that it can be pushed in like a button. Dive down, stop, press, stick. Okay, 
Push left, stick to dive. Tilt it away to go forward. Wow. I forgot, because back in the day, people were, like, only used to there being, like, d just the directional pad. And this is one of the first games just to make use of the... You know what I mean? Oh, man. Okay. What do we got here? Press the right stick to launch the net. Gotcha. So... They really give you a lot of wiggle room with that. They don't care. I'm pretty sure I'm playing as Yugi Moto. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Wee! I have the lightsaber gadget, which is always fine. Here's the exit. Cool. Okay. Let's go to the next level. Um, this is bringing back so many memories. And we have the time fairy. I have six monkeys and one specter coin. Like I said, I'm not quite sure where the specter coins are uh, usually. Because I never looked for them when I was a kid. I found that one just because. Can I look? Can you let me look? It's probably right here, to be honest. You're not going to let me climb? Oh, the Loch Ness monster creature. I remember you. Can I look? Look around? Is there anything? Not of use. All right. I remember him. I used to, I used to mess around with him. All right, come here. You ain't going anywhere. Quit monkeying around. Future me. Can I get a slow clap? Good. What do we got here? If you jump into a tree, you can climb. Yeah, whatever. Two jump. No. Come here. Ow. Stop it. Are my hit points like cookies? Alright, so apparently there's four monkeys in this area, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. Movable camera, yada 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 yada. Oh, Jesus, what are you? You're freaking evil, that's what you are. I don't like you, go away. Stop it. Push, uh, you can take cover. Yeah, I can take cover without being noticed, but it takes like three and a half years to get there. I'm not quite sure that's the Well, it actually probably is the best plan. Alright, there's one there. So I have to take a trip on. I got it there, or do I have to do? Yeah, I have to climb on the thing. Where are you at? I used to be afraid of you when I was younger, but I'm not anymore. You're adorable. Oh, you suck. Come here. Come here. Let me climb on you. Isn't it Barney? He doesn't like it. Hi, you. No, I want to keep going. <laughs> like, <laughs> apparently, you're not allowed to collect all of the monkeys. You have to, like, go back and collect them, maybe? Should at least give me the option. You did great. I'm not saying this is a game for adults. In fact, I'm probably saying this is a game for kids, but you should at least give me the option, you know? Maybe I want to collect all the monkeys. Maybe I don't want to go back. Nah, I'm just going to pull it. I'm not going to worry about, like, 100%ing this. Um, I am interested in trying to get um, maybe to the end. Because I've never actually beaten this game. We'll do one more stage. How many do I got to collect? I got to get four monkeys. There's seven monkeys. And then one coin. Like I said, not too worried about the coin. Don't know where the coin is. Let's go. Oh, is this the stage that has the um, Barren Wasteland T-Rex? It better be the one with the Barren Wasteland T-Rex. I don't think it is. What are you? 
in the checkpoint. What are you? Triangular chips. Wait, what did it say? You live longer if you gather 100 of these. So, okay, so the chips are like the coins in Mario. Not surprising, I suppose. Hi. Don't you run away from me, you stupid monkey. Don't you run from me. I'll get you. Come here. Put monkey in around. Every time I make that joke, I expect me to put a slow clap, alright? Meanwhile, you're terrifying. Go away. Jesus. <laughs> Those things are scary. It's just like... It's like Kermit had a Botox injection. So, something for you guys to look out for, uh, Jake and I are still playing Binding of Isaac every week. I'm starting to put up, Ar or I have been putting up Arkham Knight, uh, a lot. Oh, this is, this is hard, I remember it. Don't, gotcha, okay. Oh, and then in here's the T-Rex. This is the best part of the whole stage. Anyway, uh, Arkham Knight, every other day I've been trying to put it up. Um, hopefully I've been succeeding by the time this goes up. Oh, you are awesome. I remember this T-Rex. This T-Rex is very aggressive and it won't be hurt. Uh, hit the T-Rex and run to the rocks. When the T-Rex uh, runs after you, jump out of the way. If he hits his head hard enough, the T-Rex just might drop the monkey. Oh, jeez. I like how they legit use the T-Rex sound effect. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh no. Or I could just get this monkey. Which is easier. <laughs> Man, why would I work? Why would I work for it? I don't know. I don't ever think I I think the only way I ever got the monkey off the T-Rex was that I like cheated it. I would go up and like get the net and get him. I wouldn't actually like get him to drop the monkey. Oh man. Okay, guys. Well, as long as there's not a cutscene, because usually there is. Okay. Uh, that is going to be the end of this episode. Um, I'm definitely going to keep playing, so expect another one here in the next day or the next couple of days. It doesn't really matter either way. I'll try and get them up when I can. And, uh, yeah, take care. My name is Will Goodnight. Thank you for tuning in to WASD Gamecom. See you guys.